Hey guys, it's Warren here again with Copeland Small Engine Repair. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about these big V-twin Kohler engines. This is the breather cover off of it. Uh, and specifically about the smart choke system. Uh, this was, man, I don't know what the engineers at Kohler were thinking, but this is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen on a mower. Uh, the engine comes with this on it, and this is mounted, goes on like that. It's mounted right up there against the carburetor. And this little fork right here goes around this little peg and it controls the choke. It does different things at different times. And man, these things are garbage. They, got, they drive people insane, they go bad. You get a new one, it goes bad six months later, throw that thing away. Uh, these things also have an air vein choke on them. And they had it working in, con in conjunction with that electric uh, module to control the choke, but you don't need it. I've seen this, just this exact choke set up on a lot of big Briggs and Stratton V-twins, and it works fine without any other crap hooked to it. Uh, but what you need to do, it doesn't close all the way uh, originally with using that other thing, but you need to make sure the carburetors if you got the nuts off of it make sure it's pushed all the way up because that will affect how far the butterfly closes uh, but you want it to be almost completely shut when the engine's not running and then you can reach up here when this flywheel starts turning the air from this fan blows this back and that's what opens the choke and you just need to make sure it goes from almost completely closed to pretty much straight open see that and it will choke and open and do everything it's supposed to perfectly fine without the other part um so every time you kill it the fan stops moving this moves back up forward and it closes the choke so next time you get on it to crank it the choke is already closed but as soon as it cranks and it starts running and the fan the air from this fan blows this back the choke opens and it runs you're good to go so just take that thermal a coil electric choke whatever you want to call it off throw it away and you got to bend this bar right here just a little bit to make this flap do what you want in the different positions uh, but just tweak it a little bit with a pair of pliers and your fingers it's not hard to bend and you're good to go anyway i gotta put this thing back together catch me later